Now turns to part three. Part three. You will hear a conversation about plans for a university sports centre. First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to twenty-six. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to twenty-six. Before we go on to look at specific sports, let's think for a moment about the non-sports facilities we really need here.、Uh, things like better changing rooms and showers. Yes, if this really is going to be a state-of-the-art building, it'll need to have high-tech amenities, but、mm. also places for people to chill out after all the exercise they've been doing. Somewhere they can meet up for a drink or whatever afterwards is essential in a place like this. But what else? Hmm. How about a sauna? Those who use them say it's the perfect way to relax after you've trained. The trouble is, though, that there's a debate going on about how safe they are. Some say it's risky to be exposed to all that heat before or after strenuous exercise, which of course is exactly when people in sports centres want to use them. There have also been problems with people overusing them to sweat off weight, so to avoid any possible dangers, I don't think I'd include them on my list. Talking of dangers, I wonder whether we ought to have some sort of facility where minor injuries, like cuts and bruises and sprains, can be treated. Maybe it would seem to make sense with all the mishaps that are bound to occur when you have so many people running and jumping about and so on. Ah, hold on though. Isn't the new medical centre going to be built right opposite? Yes, it is. It should be finished by the end of next year. <laughs> Then there's no point, is there? Anyone who gets hurt can go over there, where there'll be much better treatment than anything、mm. we could offer on site. Yes, I can see that. What we should provide, though, is a facility with full-time physiotherapists for everybody on the campus. That is. As well as treating people, they could work on prevention of things like muscle tears and strains. Right. And something else the new place ought to have, also as a way of preventing injuries, is somewhere to test just how fit people are before they start lifting weights or running long distances and so on. Yes, I was going to suggest that. When I was at the Newport Centre, they put me on a static bike to check out my cardiovascular system.、Ah. Then they worked out how much body fat I had. All of it valuable information, telling you exactly what shape you're in. Another thing I've heard some universities do, especially some of the newer ones, is provide rooms and equipment for lectures to take place actually inside their sports centres. How do you feel about that? Well, as it happens, I've got first-hand experience of that too. We used to have some of our sports science lectures right next to the main sports hall, and I think it made what we were hearing about seem much more relevant to the real world. So in that respect, I definitely think it's a good idea. Yes. Hmm. I can see that. Though my own feeling is that we need to have more concrete reasons.、Mm. The problem is that we won't have unlimited space, and somehow I don't think providing more lecture halls is going to be one of our priorities. So I'd be against that one. I'm afraid. Anything else? Hmm. Well, just that I agree about the need to have a place where people can go for a chat and maybe have a coffee or a bite to eat together. That was something I always thought was one of the strong points of the centre in London. It was a great place to find out about new activities from the people who actually did them. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions twenty-seven to thirty. Now listen and answer questions twenty-seven to thirty. So, what about the main sports facilities themselves? What do we need? Well, we don't need a rugby pitch because there's already one on the campus.、Um, 
The same's true of table tennis, really. Mm. Most of the halls of residence for students have their own tables, so there's no point in using precious space here for any more. Agreed. Something none of them have, though, is any sort of pool. A lot of students have complained about this, saying they have to take a bus downtown if they want to go for a swim. Yes, that's definitely one for this place. Perhaps a jacuzzi, too. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. Perhaps next to the squash courts, just down there to the right. They are very popular, by the way. I think we should have a couple more here, don't you? Absolutely. And another sport that's been growing in popularity is volleyball, especially since we did so well at the last Olympics. Uh, don't you mean basketball? <laughs> yes, I do. Sorry. Anyway, the point is that there is a court in the old gym next to the Students' Union building, but it always seems to be fully booked up, even though it's not very good. And there's nowhere else on campus to play. OK, let's have one of those too. How much space have we got left, by the way? That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spar. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video, as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.